Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to create banner designs on Ideogram, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to know, so let's get designing. Alright, so let's go ahead and generate a banner for our YouTube channel on Ideogram. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this prompt over here, okay? The very first thing is tech-related render with the text, okay? And this is what you need to do. This word over here, tech, it can be whatever your niche is. So you're going to change this. You want it your niche, your style, whatever it is that you want to change this one here. Of course, the text in the middle, you're going to change all of this. And this is in the double inverted commas. Make sure that you put it in double inverted commas so that it comes out as text and not as a description. You can also change the in the middle. You can say it from the left, from the right. Whatever the case may be, you can add as much detail in as you want. The next thing you want to make sure is the aspect ratio is 69 because that's the official size or aspect ratio of the uh, YouTube banner. You can see if you use this drop down menu, there's a couple other sizes, but just keep it as 69. 9 and then you can choose your color palette which I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose this crazy mosaic once you're done you're going to go ahead let's click on generate and see what ideogram has in store for us all right here we go you can see now we're going to go have a look at the images that have been created now you can see the very first one um, that looks pretty good I like that I think I like this one too uh, if you are doing like say um, mobile phone stuff or iPhone stuff and then I think I like these two as well I mean they all pretty much do look good the only thing that you need to just double check is that the spelling and the words are actually being put out quite decently and then it looks nice or what you can do is leave that out you can just generate like an image and then you can add the text in another uh, image editor such as Canva or even Adobe Express.